Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept of uh, the generative AI. So in our previous session, we have discussed about what exactly mean the gen AI and what are the benefits, applications as well as challenges of gen AI. So in this session, we'll see a one more uh, concept that is how this generative AI is differentiated with the traditional AI. So we have defined the generative AI as a branch of AI, traditional AI. So in this session, so without delay, let us start that the difference among generative AI and traditional AI. Traditional AI versus generative AI. So we will see these differences in a different aspects. So first I will write the aspect and we will see uh, in both the cases. One is of traditional and another one is a generative. So let us start with the definition first. The aspect is the definition. So how the traditional AI is defined and the gen AI is defined. So traditional AI is defined as it is AI that analyze the data, analyze analyze and predicts the data and predicts the data. Analyzation and the prediction will be done in traditional AI. Coming to this generative AI, AI that creates new content apart from analyze and predictions. So here also the analyzation and predictions will be done. Apart from those two, the new content will also be created. So that is the difference among the traditional AI and Gen AI. The second one, the second aspect is techniques. So what are the techniques will be used in traditional AI and generative AI? So in traditional AI, the main technique we are using is a machine learning, machine learning techniques, machine learning techniques. So in this machine learning, so supervised learning will be there, unsupervised learning will be there, similarly reinforcement learning will be there reinforcement learning will be there. So these are the main techniques we are using in traditional AI. Coming to the generative AI, it will be using deep learning models. Deep learning models like neural networks, neural networks, GANs, generative adversarial networks, LLMs, okay, and also reinforcement learning with a human feedback, with a human feedback. So these are the techniques used in Gen AI. So here the machine, mainly machine learning and also rule-based system, uh, rule-based system as well as classical algorithms, classic algorithms. So classic algorithms means the random forest, okay, multi-vector, uh, all those comes with the regression, regression mechanism, all those algorithms comes with this classic algorithm. So all these techniques will be used for traditional AI and these are the techniques used in a generative AI. 
and the next one creativity so in the aspect of creativity so what we are saying traditional ai will be analyzing and predicting the data so the creativity will be very low so low creativity or less creativity and here the creativity will be high because a new content will be generated so creativity will be high and here we will call it as a logical thinker just a thinking okay just a thinking based upon the existing data and here we call it as creative artist creative artist because it generates a new data in terms of text image video audio etc so i'll differentiate all these things right see right so creativity based upon the creativity aspect low creativity for traditional ai and also it called as a logical thinker and generative ai it's a high creativity because it will generate a new content so it is a creative artist we can say an example as a creative artist then the next one human interaction human interaction so here in traditional ai that will be a one shot interaction one shot interaction so one shot interaction means so we will be giving some input and we'll get some output that's it but here it is a continuous interaction continuous interaction example here what we are saying gen ai will be creating a new content if that content needs some modifications again we can uh, give the input as a modifications then automatically the gen ai will be loading the updations to the current content okay current newly generated content so that's why we can say it as a continuous interaction interaction and this is a one shot interaction so this is also called as button based interaction and this is a chat based interaction because we can give the modifications in terms of text or voice anything else okay so it is an interactive so how we want to get a output that thing we can give through a text or an audio so that is a chat based interaction this is a button based interaction and the next one risk so what are the risk okay by using a traditional ai and a gen ai traditional ai the risk is wrong predictions so here the traditional ai will be generating the predictions only right so wrong predictions is a one risk as well as need to update every time need to update regularly regularly we need to update this one so coming to this gen ai so in our previous session we have discussed about this uh, risk about this gen ai that is a misinformation and it may generate some fake content unsafe or fake content it can, it, it may generate unsafe or fake content as well as job displacement privacy issue so sometimes we may give some sensitive data okay privacy issues all these are the risk of generating ai hope you understood here in traditional ai where just prediction and classification is going to be done but generative ai new content will be created yes sixth what is the output output type by using the traditional ai 
what is the output so here the output is fixed answers the fixed answers like yes or no so we'll be getting the answer as yes or no or category or a classification recognition right category or a classification okay this is the fixed answers it will give but generative ai in generative ai the new content can be created in the form of text image audio video as well as some code the new content will be generated in terms of either text or image or audio or video or software code and then what is the main goal what is the main goal of traditional ai so main goal of traditional ai is analyze and decide it will analyze the data and it will decide the predictions or classification but here create and imagination the creation the content creation will be done here right so here the data will be transferred to decision data to decision but here data to creation so new content will be created here based upon the existing data the decision will be taken the predictions will be taken okay next hope you are understanding this uh, differences among traditional ai as well as generative ai the next one examples what are the examples of traditional ai so as we are saying that classification or uh, just a category so classification or prediction so spam mail filter spam mail filter is a one example for traditional ai that means whenever we receive an email so it will decide whether it is a genuine email or a spam email so spam email filter is one example similarly face recognition face recognition is one more example for traditional ai okay next generative ai so when we are maximum we are using this generative ai that is a chat gpt next dali which will generate uh, images and uh, suno which will create audio content and run way gen which will create video content github copilot which will generate the software code so like this we are having a lot of applications here okay then the next one data usage what kind of data will be used here so here mainly it will use labeled data only labeled data can be used because the training will be done and the predictions will be done so on the labeled data but here it may also use unlabeled data there is no restriction on labeling of data or uh, unlabeled data so it can also use for unlabeled data and here the first thing is data reading from that understanding the patterns understanding the patterns and from that making the decisions so this is a process 
first it will read the data it will understand the patterns and it will take the decisions but here it will read the data it will read the data after that it will make use of patterns it will make use of patterns and content creation a new content creation a new content creation will be done so and also we can say this is a yeah so this is the main difference among uh, traditional ai and uh, generative ai so these are all different aspects we have seen right so the first thing a definition we have seen what are the techniques that are used between the traditional ai and generative ai and then we have seen the creativity so which one is having the highest creativity on uh, generating the content as well as uh, human interaction and then we have seen output type what kind of output will be generated using the traditional ai and generative ai and main goals what are the goals of gen traditional ai and generative ai and uh, also we have seen examples for traditional and generative and finally we have seen how the data is being used between the traditional and generative ai so only one thing so traditional ai will be used for analyzing and prediction generative ai is for i mean is used for creating the new content that's the only difference so by the end of the session hope you understood the difference among uh, traditional ai and generative ai both are the branch of ai both comes under the branch of artificial intelligence right so i'll stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much